Hello and welcome back. So, in one of my mailbag videos I showed this um, logic probe kit I bought on eBay for £3.99 pence, and today I want to build it. Anyone who's uh, watched the end of my most recent CPU build video will know why I'm uh, interested in tooling up a little bit for diagnosis. Now I did go looking for instructions on this and I found that the people who make this, Mitch Electronics, have provided quite a lot of good documentation including a YouTube video so I will link that in the description. It's not a great deal of components. This is a CMOS chip but it does come with a socket so that should be uh, fairly painless. Almost tempted to solder that directly just to make the whole thing slightly lower profile. Okay, let's have a look at the documentation. So this is pretty good actually. It's got a, a, sch a schematic and quite a detailed explanation about how it works. The YouTube video goes into a bit more detail. But okay, it's a parts list. So let's put the chip to one side because we won't fit that till later. Two of these capacitors are the same value, so no need to worry there. Three LEDs and some resistors which are different values. Right, so that's 4.7 ohm. So you've got three of these 1K ones and a 2.2 mega ohm. Pogo pin and some wires. This is the one comment I would make about this project is these wires seem very very short so I'll probably uh, have a look for something else when I get there. Alright, I've got my soldering iron warmed up to 340. Let's get the IC socket in first. Now, as usual, I'm going to tack in the opposite corners. Now, this is a very small and light board, so let's see if I can uh, hold it a bit more securely. That works. need to get these resistors right. So R1, R4 and R5 are the 1K resistors. So you need their legs bent quite sharply. Two is this 4.7 mega ohm, and then R3 is this 2.2. Right. Pastors now. Right. 
Right, the long pin should be positive. Okay, which colour was supposed to be in the middle? Off was red. I suppose that makes sense. I'm not convinced that I'm holding these LEDs in the right position very well. I'm going to get some solder on the leads and then recheck. I can just reheat the solder and push them into flush. Okay, that should be done, apart from the pogo pin and the power. This is potentially going to be difficult. Let's see if we can tin this pad. Or can we tin the pin? That's actually pretty straightforward. It's also very hot. I think that's okay. Now how am I going to get this power on there? I think what I'm going to do is see if I can get a little connector on. This might not be the smart way of doing it. It's got the right spacing. Okay, the only red blank paired wire I can find is this, which is going to be total overkill. Okay, the sleeving is a bit big for this. That's the way to do that. If you've got large sleeving, put the wire in the crimp tool and then drop the connector on top. All right, that should work. Let's clear some of this away and give it a test. A sheet crucial step, I haven't fitted the IC. Um, I need something to test. Okay, so this is my Nintendo Entertainment System controller and the board that can read it. Right, so red LED is off, green is on, yellow is floating, and all LEDs is oscillating. So I'm guessing we should see floating initially. No, we see off. Maybe that's right. Well, that doesn't look correct, does it? I presume I've made some kind of terrible mistake building this that was totally obvious to anyone watching. Is it possible I put those LEDs in the wrong way around?
Yep, I think I've put them all in the wrong way around. I am a complete idiot. There you go. Next to no components on a board and I still mess it up. This is one of those things that would be an awful lot easier with one of those solder suckers to fully clear out the holes again. I'm wondering if it would be easier to do this if there was a bit more solder on there. Right, let's give that a try again and I will leave the mistake in the video if you promise not to laugh at me. Okay, so that looks like we're getting somewhat more of what we expected. So it's currently showing floating. It's a bit of instability on the red. Okay, so I go to live. It's a logic high, I get green. Low and I get red. And it did say alternating and I'd get all the LEDs. So Try that on a line that's actually changing. So that's on and goes off when I push the button. And then we've got the latch line and the clock line. So all the LEDs come on for those. Well, it works. I suspect that the LED I've put on, the green LED I replaced there, has a slightly higher current drain. So that's this 1K resistor. Dare I risk dropping the resistance on it? And this is why you should really put the effort into putting your LEDs in the right way around initially. Without a decent solder sucker, adjusting anything can get really difficult. I'm going to go back over these and put some clean solder on them. And then we can pretend like this never happened. Okay, that's a little bit more visible.
works quite nicely actually. There is a bit of a delay on the change. I need to study the circuit. See that's curious. Is oscillating is supposed to light them all. And so the clock line gives us a nice clear oscillating, but the latch line where we know the duty cycle is off a lot more than it's on is a bit more difficult to see. But I guess there has to be a reason why uh, Logic probes cost quite a lot of money and this was free 99 on eBay. It was a nice little project. I'm a little bit embarrassed I made that mistake on the LEDs, but even so, I think this is actually going to have some use. Because if you've ever watched a video where I've kind of been struggling to hold a ground line with the multimeter on to uh, check what values on a bus, this should let me uh, run down the pins quite quickly and, uh, and see what's on each. That's nice. And I don't blame uh, Mitch Electronics for my uh, mistake at all. And uh, yeah, it's an enjoyable little project and maybe it will help me uh, diagnosing faults on the uh, CPU build. Hope you found this interesting, or at least amusing anyway. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.